guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I am actually going to be doing a try on haul for you guys. I'm not going to be trying on exactly every single one of these pieces because they come in multiple colors and I have so much to share with you guys and I don't want this to be like an hour long video, but I wanted to show you guys some of the basic pieces that I have been loving that you guys need in your closet. So you guys probably did not think you guys needed in your closet and I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. So if you guys are interested in today's video, make sure you guys just keep on watching. So if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Blanca Yvette, and if you guys are not new to my channel, then welcome back. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button before you guys leave, and I'm super excited. Also, if you guys did not notice, I have a completely different new setup now, guys. I changed, obviously, the backgrounds. I was telling you guys that I was trying to kind of work around something different, so I love how this looks in the back. Let me know if you guys love it, but I just feel like it looks really just cute. It looks really girly. I'm um, really feeling the vibe that I have going on with my background right now. So I hope, I really, really hope you guys love it. Um, so as you guys can see, I have my rack here full of a bunch of just clothes that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And I also got a bunch of new clothes from Nasty Gal just delivered. So I'm so happy that it got delivered right before I was about to film so I can share with you guys the pieces that I got as well. So like you guys know, I love fashion. I love basic pieces. I like to follow a lot of trends. I like to follow just kind of what's in style. You guys will see my style just gradually changing. Um, I got, kind of go through obviously like faces and stuff where in the beginning when you guys probably first started following me on Instagram, I was a lot more girlier. I was wearing a lot of dresses and heels. That was going on at the time. It was really dressy. And on top of that, I used to work at the bank. So I had to always be like dressed up rather than like now that I work from home. So I'm a lot more casual. Then I went from transitioning obviously from like being pregnant and still trying to like be girly and cute while being pregnant and then seeing my body kind of change and then me hiding under my body and just kind of using a lot of t-shirts and jeans and then now obviously like my body changed again because I got my body done and now you guys are seeing a little bit more of like the crop tops and stuff so you guys have definitely seen like the transitions in my style um, but I've always loved basics and the reason why it's so important for you guys to have basics in your closet is because that's literally all you're going to need. You don't have to go and buy clothes every single time that stuff's coming out. Of course, those essential pieces are so necessary in your closet. But on top of that, if you wanted to pick up something different like a dress for a night out, you know, some extra jeans, stuff like that, those are the extra stuff that you would pick up. But once you have these basics in your closet, your life will change because you can literally do everything and anything with all of this stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you guys and tell you guys exactly why I love to wear these things and how it helped me with my style and also like keeping me really budget friendly and just how I like to style up, you know, a $5.99 shirt with a little bit more of like an expensive like bag or shoes like that and just kind of, I'm going to show you guys just kind of the vibe that I like to, um, what I like to spend my money on and how I like to make pieces just look really nice and a little bit more expensive than they normally would be. So from Nasty Gal, I didn't get too much like basics. These are a little bit more color, but they could be considered basics because they are like t-shirts. Like I got, I picked up this crop top and it's just tie-dye. You guys know that right now the whole tie-dye stuff is in style, but I would definitely not invest in buying a whole bunch of tie-dye stuff because eventually it's going to start dying off. Just like trends. Right now we're getting a lot of like 80s theme um, trends back. We're getting a lot of like the mom jeans, the baggy mom jeans. We're getting the um, kind of like 80s 90s style like the 90s 2000s when you guys would see all the celebrities with like crop tops and really big jeans and sneakers like that's the style like this is why I kind of gravitate towards what's going on because you're following trends that are trending at the moment and I want to make sure that I share with you guys the trends that are happening and what's kind of in style and just kind of have like my own um, you know style to it as well so I also did pick up this tie-dye set this is the very first tie-dye set that I bought but I have some really cool uh, baby blue sneakers there's some ones that I got and I wanted something that just paired up really nice with it so I picked up this set so it's this crop top here and I believe it's in a size 6 so this is UK size size 10 I'm usually a size 6 here sometimes I'll gravitate towards a 4 depends what the top is but a six is usually like a medium. Um, so I love that this is just going to fit me really nice and tight. And then it also comes with these sweats here. And it's super hot 
out here if you live in california you know that it's drenching hot if for whatever reason i see that i'm really uncomfortable with like the sweats i'll just cut up these shorts i've been cutting up a lot of my sweats recently which is why um i'm gonna show you guys some of the shorts that i've been picking up because i've been living in shorts so i will just cut these up just so i can be a little bit more comfortable but this is such a cute set that definitely is needed in your closet because you can wear just the top by itself with like some cute jeans and then the sweats themselves you can just pair it up with a white bodysuit and then now you can change up what the actual set looks like or pair them up obviously together and then we can go in and cut the shorts and now it's like a completely different set so there's a lot that you can do with these basics it's always great for you to have like solid stuff um and then i just picked up these tops here that i just wanted to share with you guys these are completely not like anything to do with like the basic stuff but i thought they were so cute so this top here says i'm a happy ray of fucking sunshine so i got this top because i literally thought that this was like me um i actually had someone comment on my picture the other day that i always look happy and that i'm always smiling and laughing for no reason and i'm just genuinely a really happy person like i'm always laughing yes i laugh at like the stupidest shit but that's just me like i love laughing and i love being happy and clearly she was bothered by my happiness, so <laughs> I thought this was literally me because I'm like, I'm a fucking happy ray of sunshine, okay guys? I'm just always in a good mood. I, I promise you guys I'm always just happy. Um, and then this one here says, be fucking nice. So I feel like this is, I've been seeing a lot of tops like this that are like very direct, like, like have a better attitude or let's be happy like i've been seeing a lot of like this and i don't know if it has to do with social media because we know that social media has been such a mean place lately so maybe that has to be with why i'm seeing like a lot of these tops just being made but i feel like they're super cute and this is also another basic that you can wear as a big top with some biker shorts you guys know i live in biker shorts i get all of my biker shorts from um laura's boutique and i will link them down below they're my favorite biker shorts that i can pair up with any of my tops um, but this is something that I would wear with that as well as like a cropped top. I can cut it if I decide that I don't want to wear it as a long t-shirt anymore. Um, I can pair it up with jeans and it's just going to look really cute with like sneakers or you can even pair it up with some heels. But now into the basics that you guys need in your closet. So I picked up these three bodysuits from Nasty Gal. So I picked up this bodysuit here. It's just a black bodysuit, and then I picked it up in a white. And I picked it up in a burgundy. And these here do not have a neck scoop in the front. This one comes all the way up towards the neck. And then this one does have a low neck um, scoop. I don't know what you would call that, but... I got these for, oh, I don't even remember, but I think I got them for like $12.99 if I'm not mistaken. But bodysuits are always super inexpensive. Depends where you're buying them from, and I'm going to be comparing a few different ones so you guys can see where my favorite ones are to buy from. But you guys know that I live in bodysuits. So the reason why it's so important for you to have like different types of bodysuits and um, basics and solid colors like this is because you can pair this up with absolutely everything so say that i have this white top here and it's a white bodysuit i can wear this with dark wash jeans and then i can pair it up with a leather jacket and some heels and now i have like a night out i can pair this up with a leather skirt i can pair this up with some biker shorts and make it more casual i can pair this up with some loose shorts i can pair this up with a jean jacket and some biker shorts i can pair this up with some jean shorts i can pair this up with literally everything and anything and when you buy certain tops say like it's a dress with the print you can wear it you wear it once and then it's like okay you've worn it already and now you feel like oh well, i already wore that last week and then now you feel like you don't have nothing to wear in your closet. I know a lot of us relate to that. We're like, I don't have anything to wear. I don't know what to put on. When you have these basics, you can turn one top into 10 different outfits. And this is why I live through basics, guys. Like, my whole closet is like 20 of these and like 20 of these. Like, I just love investing and they're super inexpensive. So, as far as like quality goes, 
The Nasty Gel has the two layers. So this is a white and white is really risky when you're wearing it because it can be very sheer. You can see right through it. So this one does have a double band. And as you guys can see, I look at my nail polish, it's pink. You guys cannot see anything through it because it is double um, cloth and the quality is super thick. It's super stretchy. So this one I could have even sized down because it does look a little bit bigger than what I was expecting it to um, look like but I was basing it off of this style here because this one is a little bit smaller and snug um, but we can still make it work because it's double so it's super thick now comparing it to maybe something from misguided so I love shopping at misguided misguided has been one of the stores that I have been currently loving at the moment and um, this one is a little bit different than the one that I just showed you here. This one's actually white. This is more of a cream color. But the quality as far as which one feels better, the Nasty Gal one, is just so much more thicker. And you can just see, just by even looking at, on, looking at it on the screen, it just looks so much more thick than this one. This one's a little bit more sheer, but again, it does have a, a double layer on this one. Um, of course, Misguided is also nothing less like this one is super amazing quality and I love shopping with them. But I also love that this one has a really nice back detail in the back, which you can also play around with that. You see bodysuits that have like the straps in the back. You have bodysuits that have like openings like this. You have bodysuits that just tie up on top. And once again, this bodysuit is going to look completely different than this bodysuit, but yet they're still both white. But this one I'm currently loving. I also got this one in a size US 6 from Misguided. They also come in UK sizes. I picked this one up and then I picked up a nude as well. And you guys are going to see exactly how they look. But they look so freaking bomb. I can pair these up with the jeans, cute necklaces. And they're going to look absolutely amazing. Okay. So right now, so right now guys, Misguided is fully stocked on their bodysuits, so this is why it's going to be the perfect time for you guys to head over there. Um, I don't have a coupon code, I wish I did that I had, had a coupon code with them so I can share it with you guys, but they always are having sales. They always have like 30% off or 20% off or 50% off, like try to go on there when they're having their sales, but I just went on there and I picked up all of these bodysuits. So... We have the pink, we have a lilac, we have a tan, I have a black, and then I have a navy blue. And mind you guys, you guys probably think I'm freaking crazy for buying all these bodysuits, but they flatter your body so nice, guys. Like, they hug everything so nicely. Even before I got my boobs done, um, bodysuits were always my go-to because they literally held everything together. They make you feel kind of like you're even wearing like a faja. They, your, your jeans will fit so much nicer once you put them on. I'm telling you guys, like bodysuits are literally everything. And I'm going to try some of these on so you guys can see. So these also um, retail around $20, but they can have like a 40 or 30% off. The last time I checked, they had a 50% off sale, which is where I got mine from. And I only paid about $13 her bodysuit so these are all three nudes that I got the one in the middle is a little bit more pink and the difference between them is this one has the back opening this one here in the front is obviously a little bit more pink but it also cuffs um, the front of it cuffs towards here in the middle in the center it doesn't hide all the way to the back and then this one it has a scoop in the front so these are the difference between these three bodysuits and before I show you guys the other style of bodysuits that I also picked up, I'm going to show you guys some of the shorts that I like to use from Misguided that I like to pair them up with. And you guys have seen these outfits with my sneakers that I have been using lately. And I'm telling you guys, this is, they're so comfortable also. Like, I'm all about comfort. I like to be able to just sit and be comfortable and not have to worry about sucking in my stomach or feeling like I look bloated or like, you know, wearing like the smallest crop top or anything like that. Like I'm all about comfort. So um, I picked up these shorts here. These are in a size six as well. They look a little small, um, but they do stretch and they're a little bit, 
shorter than I would normally. I like to wear them a little bit longer than this just because they do kind of go up a little bit on me. Um, they have like a slit here and then I also picked them up in gray. I have them in a whole bunch of colors but I'm just showing you guys the black and the gray for now. But they're so comfortable to pair up with a bodysuit. So say like I have like these black shorts like I can wear you know this one day and then I can wear the lilac one. And then I could wear the lilac one with the gray sweats. And you know, they're like a completely different outfit. So that's what I love. And then I also have these other styles. So this one is like a bluish one that I can actually pair up. Probably not with that because it doesn't seem so. I can pair it up with this black one here or a crop top. And I know you guys have been loving these. I always ask you guys if you guys prefer like casual outfits or... Um, if you guys prefer like dresses and you guys always gravitate towards these so these are definitely must-haves these orange ones are a little bit different they do have like a little folded area here and they do fall a little bit longer and these are all also from misguided just want to make sure that because everybody's carrying all these shorts right now you guys can find them at miss lola um you guys can find them at misguided nasty gal uh, pretty little things um, Fashion Nova like everybody's carrying all of these sweats and these sweats shorts and Before these started coming out. I would always steal Ulysses's like all the time I was always stealing his clothes um, Or even like my sweats I would buy like sweats like this and then I would just cut them myself But then I'm like man like when winter comes I'm not gonna be able to have any sweats because I turned them all into shorts So when I saw those come out, I was like, okay, I must have them and then these are sh these are some sweats too that I picked up that Fit amazing that also if I decide later on that I don't want them into um, into sweats I can always cut them into shorts but these are the sweats that I would just kind of replicate for those shorts there so now moving on to like a different style of bodysuit that you guys definitely need in your closet would be these two here so these are a little bit more I guess basic but not so basic because you can wear these with heels and It'll look really elegant with like a nice necklace and a really cute like bag or something like that. Um, and then this nude one here. Or you can just pair these up with shorts and it will look like a super basic outfit. But I love that it has the skinny spaghetti strap and you still have the really nice tight and support. And all of these are in a thong form. So you can even go commando in these so they're not like super tight. Because if you wear underwear and these on top, you might be a little uncomfortable. So I would suggest just wearing it like if it was a bathing suit and then put your, your whatever you're going to be wearing under. Um, because it does come like in a thong form. But these here um, retail around the same price as well. And I got these in a size 6 as well. I think this one is a... Oh, this one's an 8. I don't know why I ended up getting an 8 with this one. But for some reason, it looks smaller. Maybe they sent it thinking... I don't know. But it looks tiny compared to this one here. So just definitely play around. Make your first order if you guys do purchase. Don't make like a crazy order if you don't know your size. Buy something and then when you do get it, like make sure how it fits and then size up and down based on that. Just because UK sizes can be very tricky or even go to the size chart because trust me guys, I get confused all the freaking time. Um, but all of these just look, you guys see how with me anytime that I shop, I always like to spend very little money on like my actual clothing. Like I'll buy a top for 10 bucks and some jeans for 30 and then I'll pair it up with maybe like an expensive bag. I'll put like my YSL bag or like my Louis Vuitton bag. And then the outfit just looks expensive. It just looks nice. You don't have to go and buy crazy, crazy expensive clothing to look, you know, like good quality. Like you can purchase things like this and you will look super cute with. So it's just about looking for pieces on a budget and looking super stylish. And then... Um, to finish off this basics video, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite crop tops. So this one here is by Misguided and the material of this specific top is a thick stretchy material which I absolutely love. And it's so hard to find these in colors. I got this one in a black and in a white and I believe like a tan. But they don't really come out with like crazy colors with these tops. I don't know if just people don't like to wear them or anything. But they support so good. They kind of feel like a sports bra. As opposed to these which are also from Misguided. I'm going to put I'm gonna put um, 
the difference in tops down below for you guys so you guys can see which ones i'm talking about and don't buy like the wrong ones because i am going to be completely honest with how they feel this one's a lot more sheer you guys can see it's lightweight i don't know what percent of cotton this is oh this doesn't even have cotton so this is 90 percent main it says and it doesn't have any cotton so this one here one that I actually like so this one is 95% cotton which cotton is what gives you like that nice stretchy well spandex is what gives you like the stretchy feel but cotton is what gives you like that thick material so that's also important when you guys are shopping read at like read those things you know because you want to be able to know that you're getting stuff that has cotton in it so it can have like more of a thick feel and when you're buying like uh crop tops you're gonna know that it's going to really cover everything nicely as opposed to this this is literally just like a very sheer top but it also the reason why i love these is because they feel so fresh like i can wear this top and i might have to wear pasties because i don't wear <laughs> let me flex on you guys right now i don't wear a bra anymore Woo! just kidding i never wore a bra um even when my tits were saggy but this one like i literally have to wear pasties now because i don't wear my bra i just let my boobies hang free and um with these here um i like that i can just wear like the top and then the pasties just kind of sit like right in the front and then they just feel fresh like i'm just getting air blown at me and everything but i was just kidding about the me not wearing bras guys i still have to wear bras because then my boobs are gonna get saggy again like they used to be um, but whenever I wear tops like this, I don't. I actually was thinking about getting my nipples pierced, and Lisa said that I was crazy. Um, but I wanted to get my nipples pierced, so when I have my top on, you can see my nips right here. <laughs> my nipples look like that. I'm a mom now. I don't even think about that stuff, huh? And I got this pink one, which is also super flowy. That's going to look really nice and just fresh. And then this gray one. So they still cover really well, guys. Like, don't get discouraged by these. They still cover everything they cover the girls they do give you a little bit of support but these are definitely meant to just have like a more like flowy and fresh um they definitely look a lot cheaper they feel a lot cheaper but they're still pretty good but if you're somebody who needs that extra extra support then this baby is the one that you guys need 95 percent cotton is what you guys need on your tops um but yeah these are some of the basic pieces that i Decided to pick up from Misguided as well as a few from Nasty Gal. I did pick up some from Pretty Little Things um, that I might share with you guys later like in a lookbook or anything like that. But I know that you guys were really excited when I told you guys that I wanted to do a basics video to show you guys a bunch of bodysuits that I have been currently loving at the moment. And um, these are it. So definitely see a bunch of pictures coming soon of all of my bodysuits if you guys have not seen them already. Um, so yeah, guys, I will be also having a giveaway for you guys from Misguided. I'm going to be giving away three lucky winners, three lucky winners, um, a $100 gift card to Misguided. All you guys have to do is just comment down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Let me know which color was your favorite bodysuit and then just tag either your cash app or your PayPal down below and I will pick three lucky winners for today's giveaway. But I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next one. Love you guys.